What's up, coffee explorers? Welcome to Auricula on the island of Crete. Check it out. What's up, coffee explorers? So I'm sitting here at Saleli in Herculean Crete, and I just I just got into town. I just found this place. The, the first place I tried to go to wasn't open, so I came here. I got these snails, and I ordered some, uh, a lamb chop. Yeah, I'm waiting on that, but they've also given me some bread and some olive oil and some potato salad and a little bit of other salad there. It's kind of a, a pickled salad. So far, everything I've had is really good. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I got started without you already, but I haven't dug into these snails yet. So let's check this out. It's, I'm pretty excited for this. Snails were one of my favorite things in Vietnam. Uh, looks like I need a toothpick. Mm. Salty, salty. So this is uh, snails with vinegar and rosemary. And, oh man, oh yeah, get out of there. Mm. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Haven't had snails in over a year and it's been way too long. They don't really like to come out of there though. There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Happy days, happy days. So in Santorini, it was all about the squid and the octopus. Here, it's about these snails. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is just phenomenal. I have no idea how this video is going to turn out because it's so dark. I got the light on my camera flashing on us. And because I'm tired, I forgot my microphone at the apartment. <laughs> so hopefully the audio is not going to be too terrible. These snails are good and they gave me a lot of them. I only paid, this big plate of snails was only 5 euros. I got this Crete green salad over here. It was I think 4.50. It's a huge salad, I, there's no way I could eat it all. I, they, they brought me the first one and it was way too salty and I haven't tasted this one yet. Just got all this amazing stuff on it. There's a lot of uh, greens actually here in Crete that don't grow anywhere else in the world. And they use them all the time. 
and that's pretty exciting because usually they don't get exported out of here either but uh it's cool being able to go try something that you that you've never had before hmm. oh yeah that salad way better than the first one they brought me without doing any research and just this was like the closest restaurant to my apartment that I could find that was open it's a winner so far I haven't even had the lamb chops yet Oh yeah. Happy days, happy days. Let's go ahead. Dump some olive oil on these too. <laughs> when you're in Crete, you can't get enough things with olive oil on it. Olive oil is what makes the world go around here. Crete produces, I think, one fifth of the world's olive oil. And that's astronomical because this island is about the size of the big island in Hawaii maybe a little bit bigger but not much if it is and they produce one-fifth of the world's supply of olive oil and it is amazing olive oil we just got the star of the show so yeah we got some some lamb chops and some potatoes and some Grilled veggies, it looks like. Oh man, these look just fabulous. Oh, so excited. Let's just dig in. Mm. <laughs> wow. This plate of lamb chops was only seven euros, 50 cents. It's like less than $10. It's not over seasoned. The meat is just super tender. You couldn't ask for anything more here. Let's put it this way. This is my first night here in Crete. I'm here for a week and the meal bar has been set extremely high. I didn't even notice this lemon here. Well, what happens if we do that? Let's find out what it goes with the, with the lemon. Good, but I think without the lemon it's better. You can't tell right now, but I'm dancing because I'm happy. <laughs> My taste buds are just having a party. So far, interpretation of Crete is that it's a lot like Rome. And just archaeology along the street pretty cool as soon as we pulled into the end of the port there was a Venetian port there from a few hundred years ago eat great food everybody absolutely eat great food if you found any value or entertainment in this video I would definitely definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.